From a station working for you, this is a WRTV update. And I'm WRTV's Lauren Casey. Here are your latest headlines. A deadly shooting pushes Indianapolis closer to another grim milestone. This happened around 930 Wednesday night in the 2400 block of Asbury Street on the southeast side. When officers arrived at the scene, they found an adult male suffering from gunshot wounds. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators say they do have a suspect in custody. They're still working to find out what led up to that shooting. As of this morning, there have been more than 190 criminal homicides. Around 160 of those are listed as in intentional homicides. If you have any ideas about what should replace the Blue Indy parking spots, the city wants to hear from you. The Reimagining the Curb public engagement effort invites residents for feedback on ideas for repurposing the underground power connections at the former Blue Indy sites. An electronic survey will gauge the public support of ideas submitted this summer. Also, posters will be placed at the sites, encouraging you to vote by text and offer your opinion. The Department of Public Works is ready for winter. The city unveiling seven new snow trucks on Wednesday. 18,000 tons of salt are on hand and additional $2 million in funding is available if needed. There will be a second shift of drivers this winter. Crews will be out training next week. Let's get a check of our forecast right now with Todd Clausen. Hey Todd. It's the best day of the week, Lauren, as we deal with temperatures close to 80 degrees, if not above 80 degrees in some southern locations and skies that are going to be partly cloudy across the area. Take advantage. We don't have too many more days like this in our future. This evening, if you have plans, temperatures will fall from the 70s into the 60s, but still very, very comfortable. Now for the day tomorrow, we warm quickly back up into the low to mid 70s. Could be a stray shower earlier in the day, but a strong cold front arrives in the afternoon with some showers and storms behind that front. Temperatures quickly drop as we head into the evening hours. Todd, thanks for more stories and weather you need to know. Download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.